fucking work because we're going for number three. Success means different things to many people, but having like a rewarding feeling of accomplishment and happiness, knowing that you worked your heart off, doesn't come from having an easy life and being like, oh, well, I could go just drop out and do this easy shit that's kind of set up already and you can ride through that. It comes from working on having stronger shoulders to carry a heavier burden instead of just doing the pussy shit. I know for a damn fact every single time I've gone through shit like this, whether it was me getting sick, tearing hamstring, having doubts in the past, and me pushing through it every single time has made it so much more rewarding. whatever it is, those moments where you want to quit and you're like, this is just too much for me to handle, I can't do this, and you snap yourself back together and you're like, quit being a little bitch, this is fucking your shit. Get to work, get through it. Getting through that and then seeing the success, seeing the happiness of the people around you or the fruits of your fucking labor at the end of it all, it's, that's, those are the moments that make it worth it. Just believing in yourself no matter what, having absolutely no fucking quit. Those kind of things right there are what make everything at the end of the line worth it. The moments of becoming a better person, getting through shit when you want to quit, and just becoming a stronger Building those strong shoulders to carry a heavy load. That's what makes you happy and always be satisfied. Be happy with what you have. Life is so good and you should, but it gets old if it's easy. It just got real serious. Classic face engaged. Oh, is it time to quit or is it time to fucking double down and push through? but it's those moments that you push through that make you into something special, into something great, and get you to places where people normally don't get. So the average person quits right then. Fucking fired up. Like I said, I'm putting everything I have into this right now. Let's push at normally where I feel like decimal zombie. That means game time. You saw him fucking getting flat, pleated, lean, beard gone, mustache out. It's all coming together. Get angry, let's go! Throw those arms, let's go!
Come on, beat me. Five more. One, two, finish it. Felt like a lot was getting to me. It was a lot of pressure. Felt like things were just kind of hard and tough, and I wanted to just quit. To be honest, I felt like I'd lost a lot of faith in myself, and it was getting really hard to just push through. And I didn't quit. Obviously, we're here today, but this morning, before, well, after prejudging, I had that same cry in the bathroom. But this one was a cry of gratitude and pride that I had pushed through and gotten through that. <clears throat> and it's. It's these moments, it's this journey, and like, like I felt this before having the trophy around my neck. It's the journey, it's the experience, it's knowing that you pushed past times where you wanted to quit. And you got shit done. You pushed through it. So to everyone out there whose dreams are scaring you, who dreams make you want to quit, just don't quit. It's good. Your dreams should be big, they should be scary. Just keep pushing through. I have this thing I say champion mentality. It's not about winning, it's not about a trophy, it's about having no quit about giving everything you have so that when you show up on game day before the results are over you're proud of yourself and you know the work you put in and that's all I can feel right now just pride and gratitude to be here on this stage under these lights again this, this will never get old